Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. The Reels, Triumph and Tears highlighted memorable Australian Open finals. Roger Federer outdueled Marin Cilic in five dramatic sets to capture his 20th career Grand Slam crown. Federer is the first man to reach the 20 major milestone and joins Margaret Court, Serena Williams and Steffi Graf as just the fourth player in history to hit 20. It was Federer's third Grand Slam title in just the last year and marks the first time since the 2008 U.S. Open that he successfully defended a major. An emotional triumph moved the maestro to tears during his speech. Just, um, an absolute dream come true. The fairy tale um, continues uh, for us, for me. Um, after the great year I had last year, it's, it's incredible. <laughs> Wouldn't be the same without you guys, thank you. Um, Marin's team as well, you guys work hard, all the best. To start. And, and my team, I love you guys. <laughs> Thank you. This rematch of the 2017 Wimbledon final featured some pulsating all-court points. Chilich, who rose to a career-high number three as a result of his run to the final, had break points to open the fifth set, but he just couldn't convert. Roger took charge to close his sixth Australian Open crown, equaling Novak Djokovic and Roy Emerson for most in history. We've seen rare champions age gracefully. Seldom have we seen a champion age so dynamically. At the age of 36 years, 173 days, Federer is the second oldest man to win a Grand Slam title in the Open era after Ken Rosewall, who won the 1972 Australian Open at 37 years old. This raises a question. Will Federer become the oldest men's world number one? The current world number two trails the number one who is Rafa Nadal by just 150 ranking points. Federer is defending championship points from Indian Wells and Miami coming up this spring. So how many career Grand Slams do you think Roger's going to win? And by the way, a bit of controversy on a couple of final fronts. First, should the retractable roof over Rod Laver Arena have been closed for the men's final? As you'll recall, the roof was open for the women's final and some, including Aussie legend Pat Cash, questioned why the roof was closed for the men's final. The Melbourne Herald Sun reports the temperature for first ball was 37 degrees Celsius, which is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit. Tournament referee Wayne McEwen makes the final call on closing the roof. However, in the past, the tournament has stuck to its policy of closing the roof when the temperature hits 40 degrees Celsius and the wet bulb globe temperature, whatever that is, is about 32.5 degrees Celsius. Now afterward, both Marin and Rogers said they were not asked if they would prefer to play with the roof closed. Did that decision benefit Federer, who's seven years older than Chilich and obviously a tremendous force indoors? Fed says he was ready for any conditions and felt that he could wear down Chilich in the heat had the roof been open. Marin said conditions were decidedly different indoors compared to the outdoor conditions that he'd played on in his six prior matches and much cooler than he expected. All right, another issue. Should tournaments create conditions that suit the stars? Hall of Famer Mats Vilander raised some eyebrows with his Eurosport commentary on this subject. On the 30th anniversary of his victory at the first Australian Open staged in Melbourne Park, here's what he had to say. If I was tournament director, I'd speed up the court so Roger Federer can play three or four more years. He's probably the best thing in professional sports. Now, of course, tournaments can create any surface speed they choose, but do you agree with Mats? Should tournaments speed up the court to extend Federer's career, or is that simply preferential treatment for Roger? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. In any case, the tennis world celebrated Roger's 20th win with some rousing social media posts. Here's a look at some that caught our eye.